Welcome back, uh, race fans. Here we are again from uh, the Jeddah Corniche circuit, the fastest street circuit of the world. And uh, it is also an amazing place for us to finish our uh, championship, uh, Formula 4 Saudi Arabia, certified by FIA, and we could have had a better place than uh, this one. As you can see, is uh, in the new modern part uh, of uh, Jeddah, as uh, you can see, is also on the coast. Beautiful place. We had uh, a very exciting beginning of the evening of the night so far with the, the revised uh, race two classification, as uh, the steward had some uh, uh, changes to make. So we confirmed the winner, Suleiman Zanfari, after a uh, win in style, I would say from uh, the first lap to the end of the race. Fantastic race from Suleiman. And uh, Kirill Kuskov promoted to second after a fight with Saker Almosherji. You will see some Jerzy, Almosherji down to eight for uh, a 10 seconds penalty. So promoted Andrei Petrovic up to third position. Federico Alrifai in fourth. Oscar Wurz in fifth. Amda Alkubesi in sixth. Omar Alvarid Alderani in seventh. Sakela Mosherji, as we said, is down to eight because of the penalty of 10 seconds. And then Abdulaziz Abuzenada, good job for him to be in the top 10 today in ninth. And Amnar Kulbezi to wrap up uh, the top 10. Jabur Altani and Abdullah Al Kulbezi didn't finish the race. I've seen uh, they were working on uh, Jabor's car. After race two, he had uh, an issue and really looking forward to see Jabor back on track as everybody. And now we hear from the drivers in the very final race of the season. Let's hear what the, the guys that has to say. Emotion is raising with the drivers. Here we are ready for the last race of this wonderful season, starting from the pole position, Federico Rifai. Federico, just a quick question. Pressure off now for you. How are you going to race for this last of the season? Now that the pressure's off, I'll still try to win this race, you know, end it on a high. And yeah, definitely, I'll still keep on pushing. So you're not giving up trying to win one more race? Yeah, for sure, I'll try to win this one. Okay, let's enjoy this race. Let's go to the other uh, title contender that has been fighting for the whole season really hard. So, Andre, uh, really nice season for you. We're starting really good from the very beginning. Unfortunately, now, I mean, pressure up, but not in the way you intended. How are you going to race this time? Yeah, like always, go for the win. Championship is out of reach. I don't like when championships are decided in the steward's office, but it happened this time. But, uh, yeah, just like any other race, push and go for the win. Okay, Andre, so let's enjoy uh, this uh, last race of the season. And let's give it all, of course. Uh, let's go in on with the grid. We have uh, Hamda Alkubezi, pretty solid qualifying. You are starting P3 for uh, this one, last race of the season. So how are you are going to uh, fight with these other two guys in front of you that have been fighting for the whole season? Yeah, I think it's just about staying out of trouble. The last two races didn't go as planned. But uh, it wasn't my fault. But uh, yeah, I just want to finish uh, the season well, try to get another podium in the bag, and hopefully that's how it ends. Okay, let's hope for a win then. Enjoy it. So let's go on to uh, get some other words for the third driver of the championship, Kirill Kutskov. Really solid race here in uh, uh, Jeddah for all the three races. This is the last one of the season pressure off because now we are third position it's already uh, at home how are you going to race this time yeah you know there is a big fight i already know the big fight for the championship because fede already won it but still andre got a new tire so just gonna keep it behind and then maybe if i get a chance try to overtake okay Kirill, enjoy the race so that's really all from my side now look and an iron it's your time see you well, it's uh, always uh, fascinating to hear from the drivers when it's only a few seconds 
before uh, actually starting from uh, from a race and uh, um, this is still uh, the moment when uh, the driver is uh, half uh, uh, human and half driver but then when the visor is done uh, the human being just disappear and uh, remains uh, only the racer the driver uh, believe me once the <laughs> visor is down and the engine is on um, the change uh, is, is potentially uh, one of those that you wouldn't expect. So sometimes uh, the most quiet uh, a guy can uh, become uh, one of the hardest and toughest uh, racer. And um, while uh, one of those guys that uh, the mind look, uh, uh, you know, very aggressive, maybe in the cars they can just uh, focus themselves and. Uh, remain calm uh, so uh, some uh, of uh, of them some of us they have basically a sort of a uh, capability to uh, give uh, to the racer inside the helmet uh, just uh, to unleash the beast uh, when the visor is down but uh, then I just uh, uh, we just have to make sure as ourselves as a championship as teams as uh, coaches to teach them how to um, manage uh, this sort of a personality once uh, you have the visor down. So, final race of the season. Um, and on pole position, we have Federico Adrifai. Federico Adrifai on pole position as he had uh, uh, the fastest uh, third lap during qualifying. And beside him, Andrei Petrovic, these two, they are really fighting until the end of uh, the championship. Wow, it has been uh, uh, a really busy day. We started uh, with a free practice early evening. Uh, after that, straight to qualifying. There was already, already a lot of drama in qualifying with the long yellow flag for, um, unfortunately, uh, seeing uh, Oscar Woods uh, off track and uh, after that we saw very exciting final minutes of qualifying that uh, saw uh, pole position from Petrovic and second refi while for race three is inverted with uh, those two fighting since uh, the start uh, of this uh, championship and also in uh, this final race final race uh, we see again uh, the circuit layout 27 Amazing fast corners. One, two is quite slow, third gear corner, but then four is four gear corner, quite fast, then flat out until eight. Little lift in eight, little lift in nine, and then again flat out until uh, turn 13. Bank corner, very technical, a bit unique inside, in between the walls, and then another four gear corner in 16. Carry the speed, use the curves, and then flat out in this uh, fast twisty section and downshift to 4th from 6th in 22 and then on the exit flat out 30, 23 flat out 24 25 26 and then hard braking overtaking uh, spot in 27 last corner third gear and into the main straight so the uh, walls uh, are mo in most of the race track the limits while uh, in some of the fast corners uh, we have uh, quite a big run of area that makes the circuit uh, uh, safe uh, and uh, while in the straight line sections the drivers they have to uh, be aware that there is no gap and no margin for mistakes as you can see the walls are just uh, beside the, the, the apexes now all the cars are approaching uh, the final corner. They will line up on the grid at the end of this sighting lap. I take the opportunity to thank all the mechanics. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. These guys, they are fantastic. Always with their smile on their face. Uh, believe me, these guys, they, they can work uh, uh, with so much uh, passion. And this is the... Uh, what it makes uh, this big team as a big family uh, fantastic work by our mechanics 
for you to know most of them they come from uh, uh, Malaysia Philippines uh, as uh, part of uh, the original uh, uh, Meritus team as a, a Malaysian heart so now we will see the green lights uh, uh, for uh, the formation lap um, so I have to thank all the mechanics for their work uh, they've been uh, fantastic in repairing cars very quickly and uh, giving uh, all these uh, drivers equal cars ready to race same setup same engine same everything so the win has to go to the best driver this is how the championship is uh, designed how the philosophy it is uh, and the engineers as well thanks uh, a lot to all the engineers that have been uh, part of the championship they really understood the concept and the philosophy which uh, every engineer is dedicated to two drivers but at the end uh, all the drivers they have to feel that uh, all the engineers they are uh, working towards the same goal which is making uh, all these drivers, better drivers, to teach them, to help them, and to uh, just to stay beside them in this uh, part of their learning part, their journey. And uh, this is the grid of the final race of the season. Federico Adrifai, pole position, Petrovic second, Amda Alcubesi. Let's hope she can finish on a high after bad luck today. Kuzkov fourth and Kuzkov is uh, performing well in these final rounds Omar Alvarid Alderani fifth solid qualifying and uh, good speed from him Amnal Kubesi like her sister she needs better luck let's see what she can deliver and seventh Sakir Al Moshergi talented driver Abdullah Al Kubesi P8 is the best qualifying so far good job Abdullah Jabor as well, good job in ninth. Suleiman Zanfari, the winner of race two, is starting in P10. 11th for Faisal Al Kabani, Abdulaziz in 12th, and Oscar Wurz, as we said before, unfortunately, he had to forfeit the qualifying and uh, he has to start from the back, but he has the opportunity to show his speed and come through the field. So, as we approach the final sector, um, of the very last race uh, of uh, the Formula 4 Saudi Arabia Championship certified by FIA a lot of action today but it's good to uh, finish on a high with uh, these two drivers that have been fighting uh, for the championship as they are now going to fight for the final win of the season and uh, this will determine the final result as well and uh, it's good that the top three in the championship are now one two four so just to confirm their state of uh, of shape uh, uh, with the amda uh, in second row as well the yellow car from uh, omar al valid al -Durani. Now we see them going to line up. There they are on the grid. And well, Al Rifai slightly pointing towards uh, Andre, and Andre slightly pointing towards Federico. That is the positioning of uh, the final race uh, of the Formula 4 Saudi Arabian Championship. Everything is ready. All the lights. Three and four. And five. And the lights are off. And the starts. Great starts from Andre. Andre in first. And Amda. She's going to try in the inside. And then we have Kuzkov against uh, Omar. Kuzkov is in front, it looks like. Andre on top. What a start from Andre. And refined second, Amda third. Then Amna took the opportunity to overtake Omar. Omar, so maybe was a little bit squeezed by Kirill and probably had to lift. So Amda took the opportunity to uh, 
overtake while uh, we see that uh, Andre is trying to pull away is trying to push Omar trying to defend from Suleiman Zanfari Zanfari is pumped up after the fabulous win of uh, the previous uh, the previous race And what a view from the drone uh, looking into the final twisty sector. And there you go from turn 16 up to turn 22. And 22 is that corner where you go under the illuminated bridge. From sixth gear, you break down to fourth, carry the speed, and now exiting 23 and 24 flat out towards the final turn uh, of the circuit. Andre is really pushing hard. He's trying to stretch the gap. And Kutskov very close to Amda al -Kubaisi. Yeah, Kutskov very close. Very close. Fantastic uh, to see the fight. Uh, and Oscar Wurz uh, trying the inside. Uh, Suleiman Zanfari is defending. Good defending from Suleiman. But Oscar, he looks fast. He looks uh, pumped up and ready to fight. Unfortunately for him, starting at the back of the field. Is now really close to Suleiman Zanfari. At the moment, the two fights are Kutskov and uh, Amda, and also Wurz getting very close to Zanfari. Andrei Petrovic, what a start from second place to position one. Great job by Andrei Petrovic, but Federico Rifai at the moment is in second. The gap is more or less one second, so it's still okay to have the slipstream, but Petrovic, I think he will try to push lap after lap after lap. He really wants to try and uh, stretch, stretch that, uh, that gap. The yellow car from Omar Alvalido Durrani looks really close to Amna al -Kubaisi. Let's see if Omar can uh, get even closer. There they are. In this section, the toe, the slipstream is quite powerful. Oh no, such a shame. It was such an unlucky weekend for Faisal al -Kabani. And Kuzkov, outside, move. Wow, and he made it. He made it. Late break for Kuzkov and Omar Alderani also in the same corner at the same time so the both they were able to maximize in the same corner at the same time and we have two couple two wides where Kuzkov has to defend now has Omar Alderani and they both they both made it so we now have Kuzkov in third and Omar Alvarez Adrani in fifth, while uh, Wurz is still very close to Zamfari, but not yet close enough. I mean, he's close, but not able to make a move yet. Uh, by the way, Zamfari and Wurz are not too far from Amna and Omar as well, so uh, that's definitely one of those. Uh, Races where uh, this group can uh, maybe get more compacted. In the meantime, P9 for Jabor Altani that is able to keep the pace, uh, almost keep the pace of Zamparian Wurz. It's not really that far from them. Good improvement. So, 
the fastest lap for the moment is from Andrei Petrovic with a 7.5, which is a really good lap, and it's a lap that is uh, good enough for uh, one of the top spots for qualifying. So it means that Andrei is pushing 100%. We are seeing a very different race compared to, turn to race one. A race that is more based on pure pace, on pure speed, which is uh, definitely confirming that uh, Petrovic and Rifai are the quickest on track. Potentially Petrovic with a little bit of uh, margin. Yeah, basically same lap time, 7.8 for both. And Kirill Kutskov just a couple of tenths uh, slower than those two. Suleiman Zanfari is catching, is catching Wurtz. So potentially for a P5, there could be a fight in between uh, Omar Avalida Derani, Amnar Kubesi, Suleiman Zanfari, and Oscar Wurtz. They all did their quickest lap in the final lap with Omar also matching Amda's uh, lap time. So the pace is uh, much more uh, consist consistent through the, the field, but uh, this is one of those races where the track uh, position, it is definitely making a difference. As uh, you can see, the pace uh, between all these drivers is uh, very uh, even, very equal. fastest lap for the moment is done by Andrei Petrovic. He is uh, very focused, he's been uh, trying to uh, win a race today and uh, he has now an opportunity with seven laps to go. Federico Rifai is able to more or less maintain the gap, now he is consistent on uh, a 1.4, 1.5 seconds in between those two. I mean, seven laps to go if it stays green all the time. It's a long race here in uh, Jeddah. It's more than two minutes per lap. The tires, we have to say that they stay quite consistent, but it also depends on potentially the differences in between uh, tire wear between uh, the drivers. So, in this lap, uh, Rifai is only one tenth of a second faster than uh, Petrovic, so the gap is 1.3. While uh, Kutskov and Amda, they are three, four tenths slower than uh, those two, as Omar is also another couple of tenths uh, slower. We now have uh, this group of four guys that they are quite quite uh, close but with six laps to go it all depends on uh, the pace how they manage the tires and uh, uh, if they can uh, keep the driving clean and focus and uh, maybe try and uh, improve uh, lap by lap Anna, yes, uh, after she had to uh, lose the position to Omar Avalid Aldrani, then Anna Kubezi, she's been uh, doing the same pace, same lap times as Omar, and they are very close. Let's see if towards the end of the race, these four, as you can see here on screen, they will be compacted and uh, they can provide... Uh, the final fight uh, of the final race. Wow, I can see Al Rifai is getting a little, little closer. He's getting a little closer, yes. So, it also depends on how you are treating uh, your tires. And uh, the fastest lap is for Petrovic, but now Petrovic has a little bit of a drop for two, three tenths of a second, while uh, Aldrifai, let's see if he keeps improving. 
Yes, Al Rifai e improved his lap time once more and is now only 1.1 away for, uh, from uh, Petrovic. And when you are more or less one second away, your contender, you start to feel more the slipstream. And when you feel more the slipstream in a Formula 4 car, then it's when uh, you can get closer and maybe try and uh, make a move uh, in the end of the straight. We have to... Uh, we have to also remember that... Uh, We have to remember that uh, these drivers, most of them, they have very little experience in uh, motor racing, but uh, uh, they were able to learn so much through the championship, and uh, they now have many starts, many qualifying sets of tires, different tracks under their belts that they can uh, maximize their experience not only for today race event but for their near future uh, in motor racing it is not uh, common to have the opportunity to race in some of the best circuit in the world where formula one and other top categories races and uh, these very young uh, guys or girls they had uh, already this opportunity at their age so Omar in fourth, in um, Omar in fifth, uh, Amna sixth, Suleiman Zamfari. And Oscar Roots quite close one to the other. As you can see, we have uh, quite in the back Sakela Moshergi that is trying to uh, come back through the field, number five is one of the fastest car on track but unfortunately after a slow start and a difficult first lap he was now able to uh, gain uh, some positions and is now in front of uh, Jabor Altani so Sakher Al Moshergi definitely one of the fastest uh, cars on track especially in the previous lap was the fastest out but uh, yeah it's not uh, easy for him now to uh, try and uh, come uh, through the field so now Kuzco he was able to stretch a little bit the gap is one of those uh, situation where for the moment he has gap in front and gap behind as it is for the rest of uh, the group the yellow car of Omar of a little Durrani Amnal Kubezi is still quite close with four laps to go let's see who can hang on to their tires and uh, keep pushing trying to extract the little grip uh, and the maximum grip uh, available from the tires from now on until the end of the race with uh, Federico Arifai trying to slowly meter by meter getting closer to the leader Andrei Petrovic now the gap could be now under the second when these two contenders cross the line and we will have three laps to go wow still really quick both of them seven seven for the leader seven six for the second with nine tenths of a second apart Kirill Kutskov also down to seven nine it is fastest lap of his race so he is now at the same pace as the first two but with a little bit of a of a gap is uh, 3.6 seconds away as we can see now but Kirill in his final laps uh, in the series trying to 
push as hard as possible. I'm uh, still uh, not close enough to Omar, but also not far that Omar can uh, take, uh, take too much of a breath. Kutkov, Amdal Kubeisi, Omar Alvaridal Rani, Amdal Kubeisi, Zamfari in the orange car, followed by Oscar Wurz in the green car. Such of an unlucky weekend for Oscar Wurz after failing to uh, qualify. That really hurt his uh, uh, final round of the championship. Oscar. We know, we believe uh, that uh, he has, uh, he had uh, the full potential to be one of the contenders for the title, but uh, we <coughs> definitely wish him best for the rest of the season in his uh, following programs and uh, really wish him uh, uh, the best as we do for all the drivers. So, the gap now from... Uh, Amda is uh, again a little bit closer so they are now both of them pushing super hard uh, and uh, putting some pressure one to the other quickest lap of the race from Al Rifai only six tenths of a second now behind Petrovic 2.75 from Al Rifai, 2.78 from Petrovic. And here they are with a little less than two laps to go. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, an, one of those uh, endless uh, fight in between these two. Definitely, I have to say, they deserve to be in contention of uh, uh, becoming the champion to claim the title because they have shown uh, great speed, consistency, racecraft and uh, attitude because uh, these two drivers, they have uh, an incredible potential to become professional race car driver. Really hope uh, that uh, we help them to improve themselves and become better drivers but uh, we can see that they did since the beginning of the championship Petrovic trying hard to keep the lead maintain the lead wind one lap plus one sector to go it is a race based on pure pace pure speed pushing from the line to the check red showing the true speed that these guys have and now we are going to start the final lap final lap Andrei Petrovic in first Al Rifai, nine tenths of a second. Petrovic now doing the quickest lap of the race. He did it in the second last lap. It's also a fight in between these little things. Showing I have more pace, I'm faster. I led this race since the start. I want to win it. This is what. Uh, the fastest lap from Petrovic says, pushing hard, throwing everything he has into these final corners. Not only of the race, not only of the race weekend, but of the championship. And uh, now it's evident that there is potentially no more opportunities for Federico Rifai, Petrovic has done everything he could to win this final race. It's not over yet, but Petrovic has done everything perfect. One of uh, the best uh, races from Andrei Petrovic. Masterclass driving. This is what we want to see from these drivers. 
they have to show us that they have the capabilities the speed the mentality this is what we wanted to see from uh, our best drivers of our championship pushing hard and trying to finish on a high with one corner to go Andrei Petrovic number 49 is going to win in style from the start to the flag and the last final check red flag goes to Petrovic and he finishes on the eye with a fantastic race win a fantastic race win in second Federico Alrifai congratulations to the boat for delivering such a spectacle and with results with these results Federico Arifai he wraps up the title and uh, with a consistency and another podium we will uh, crown uh, Federico Arifai as a Formula 4 Saudi Arabia champion Petrovic in second, Kirill in third, Kirill Kuzkov it's great to see these three guys in the final podium of the final race. Thank you guys for delivering such a great show. Amdal Kubezi, she also finishes on a high, showing a lot of speed. Great solid P4. Omar Alvarita Dreani in fifth. Amdal Kubezi in sixth. Suleiman Zanfar in seventh after winning race two. Oscar Wurz in 8 uh, not that we can uh, he was hoping for but we wish him the best luck for the rest of the season Sakela Moshergi in ninth, but uh, a great showing off speed from Saker Abdullah Kubezi what uh, an improvement as it is for Jabor Altani and Abdulaziz Abu Zenada unfortunately Sa Faisal Al Kabani uh, had to retire from this race not the luckiest home race uh, for uh, uh, Faisal Al Kabani and uh, now Andrei Petrovic going back into the pits he must be proud for what he has achieved he must be proud as he has been uh, doing a fantastic championship this weekend he has done everything he could he can regret maybe the Monday race when uh, it was uh, not his lucky day even if uh, he has shown uh, great speed but uh, I'm sure that uh, finishing on a high with uh, such a great performance he must be happy he must be proud of himself as Federico must be proud of himself for being our first champion good job Andre we are happy to see you finishing with a smile because this is how we should be you've been super quick and also the hug that I can see between uh, uh, Federico Arifai and his dad with Peter Thompson, our championship promoter, congratulating, and uh, Kirill Kuzkov, congratulating with his engineer and with uh, Petrovic. Kuzkov again, great finish of the championship, consistent on the podium, solid third place, and well deserved as well because Kirill is another amazing amazing talent and yeah here you see all the crowded pit lane uh, as we get toward uh, towards the end of uh, 
this final race of the season. And Jeddah, we will miss you, Jeddah. We'll come back for sure, as we will to the other fantastic circuit. It has been a phenomenal season with, uh, I would say, great success from uh, all the talent that these drivers has uh, displayed. We are ready to hear from the top three finishers. Podium and here we are, Kirill Kirill Kutskov. Kutskov, third for the last race of the season, third in the championship. What we're missing today uh, to get the second win of uh, your season? Starting position. Just didn't make that great with the qualifying and then, you know, from not from first row is always harder, but it is how it is now. Race three, like, I expected to finish P3, I finished P3, nothing more I could do, so. So you were really growing up from the beginning of the season up to the end. In Jeddah you show up a lot of uh, good results, good pace. How was this championship for you, starting from go-karting and uh, getting straight away with this car and seeing your evolution, how did it feel? Yeah, that's a great championship, especially uh, to make it as a rookie, you know, for the first time in Drive Formula 4. To get the experience is the great championship, of course. Like, a great tracks we used to drive for this championship, four tracks. Yeah, four tracks, unbelievable. Formula One tracks, you know, the experience I got is just crazy. So, yeah. So, looking forward to see you, I don't know, again around the track. Congratulations for this season. Thank you, Kirill. Thank you, Kirill. We appreciate your kind word, uh, your kind words, uh, saying that is uh, the right championship uh, uh, after your karting career to start your motor racing career and all the best for you. And let's hear from uh, Federico Arrifai. Federico Arifai, you are the first Aramco Formula 4 Saudi Arabian champion. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels great. Obviously, it was long, like four or five months racing, and it's great that we put it all together. It was quite consistent over all six rounds. So yeah, it feels great. So through the whole season, at the end of the race, you seem to be all the time really fit. What are you doing for training and to be ready for it? Uh, mostly gym, do a bit of running, scopare. And what about uh, what is coming next? I mean, this season for you was really good, and what is coming in your future? I'll be racing in um, the GT Cup Open Championship this summer with the Porsche GT3 Cup. So yeah, it should be interesting. Okay, thank you, Federico. You guys uh, have to understand that it's been such a long, uh, intense day for Federico that is also messing with us, uh, with Marcello and myself, uh, as uh, he's uh, just uh, explaining to us uh, how he enjoys uh, training between races. And uh, Andrei Petrovic, the fantastic winner of the final race of the season. Andrei Petrovic, a win, one more win in your season. I mean, from the outside, it seemed to be pretty boring because you were leading from the beginning up to the end, but you were really fast, really solid up to the uh, end of the race. I'm sure it is not the way you wanted to finish, with a win for sure, but not like that in the championship. But how is the balance of this championship for you? How did you enjoy it? Did you feel you were growing up? No, it's good because uh, this is my first year in single-seaters. Uh, first time driving F4 in this championship. At the beginning, someone would have told me that I would compete for the win in the championship. I wouldn't have believed him, but uh, after this one, coming off a little bit uh, disappointed after not winning the championship, but uh, coming home with the win in the last race, so I'm pretty happy with how everything ended, and it's a good stepping stone for next things to come in my career. So what is uh, uh, your career now? What are you going to do for this uh, rest of the season? For the rest of the season, I'm going to be competing in arguably the strongest championship in F4, Italian and Euro 4. And uh, I hope I can bring some knowledge from here to then. 
So what can you say about this championship? Would you suggest to other young drivers that are starting their career? Yeah, it's really good championship for beginners, uh, for rookies. For me, it was perfect. I don't think we could have cho uh, chosen a better championship. Uh, for next year, they will get better stewards, so I think it will be even better. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you, Andre. Thank you. One more thing, one more thing. So it's thank uh, you to everyone in Serbia. It's great uh, to. It was about to say to thank everybody in Serbia. I, I bet as he has many followers. So let's hear, let's see what uh, happened during this very final race with uh, Andrei Petrovic uh, uh, winning uh, in style. Andrei definitely is, is nice to see him happy after obviously the disappointment of uh, not uh, securing the title, but at least he's finishing on a high and he must be proud uh, of himself. Uh, and. Uh, this is unfortunately Fizal Al Kabani. And uh, what a move from Kirill. I liked it very much from the outside. Good job, Kirill. Finishing third in the race and in the championship. And Federico Rifai has tried his best to match the speed of uh, Petrovic, but it wasn't quite enough. Petrovic responded with the fastest lap of the race in the second last lap. And a well-deserved winner of uh, today, race three. It's good to see him with a smile as uh, he has done a fantastic season. So, again, this is all from the Aramco Formula 4 Saudi Arabian Championship certified by FIA. It has been a pleasure uh, commenting all these uh, uh, races with you. Thanks, everybody, all the mechanics, all the engineers. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll leave you to the season I light, and see you next year. Thank you very much. From Luca Filippi, that's all.